the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God beside me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none beside me. I am the Lord. There is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples his wondrous deeds. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. The beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Savanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off 
and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At Mass, we come to offer the sacrifice of Christ for our salvation and for the salvation of the world. And Jesus again talks to us today in this gospel about the primacy of God in our lives. In fact, if you look at the, all of the gospel passages, that always is Jesus' first concern in speaking to his disciples. God has the first place. So it is a short gospel reading that we have today, of course, as we've just heard, but with a very concise message. In our gospel today, the uh, Pharisees have finally had enough of Jesus' parables about the kingdom of God, which we've been hearing over the last four weeks. Because in those uh, parables, Jesus has been telling the Pharisees that they have rejected the kingdom of God and they are not entering into the kingdom of God, which is coming, of course, as a shock to them because they're not converting to the message that Jesus is delivering them from God the Father. So the Pharisees are very mad, very angry with Jesus, and they try to embroil Jesus in a political question. Is it lawful to pay the taxes to Caesar or not? They are talking about things of this world, and they still haven't got the message that Jesus is proclaiming, while Jesus is talking about a kingdom which is transcending this world, which is bigger, much bigger than this world, the kingdom of God. And so he immediately directs them to much more important things. Give to God what belongs to God. Yes, pay the taxes. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Yes, pay the taxes. But keep your sight fixed on the kingdom of God. Give to God what belongs to God. Don't lose your focus. Prepare yourself for the kingdom of heaven. From the beginning of his public life, Jesus has been constantly repeating this message, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's always there uppermost, came to bring the kingdom of God to us, which we enter into through the salvation that he won for us by his cross. And that's the message that we also must pay attention to and act upon every day. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we do that in our daily examination of conscience. If there is any way that we have 
betrayed the kingdom of heaven, betrayed God and his commandments that day to return because the kingdom of heaven is very much at hand, is very much close. It's easy, as I said uh, last week, for us to neglect our spiritual life of our soul if we are not very careful. In the busyness of our lives, we get so caught up with the here and the now that God can very quickly get pushed into the background. So Jesus is reminding the Pharisees and the Herodians who joined the Pharisees on that occasion and reminding us, don't forget about God. Give to God what belongs to God. And the first reading today from the prophet Isaiah really speaks uh, beautifully to this fact of God being first, where we have the quote, I am the Lord, there is no other. There is no God besides me. There's no God besides me. In other, in other words, there is nothing that is on the same level as God. He's primary. He's first. He holds the primacy in our, in our lives. And if we keep that proper hierarchy in, of values in place, God in the kingdom of heaven taking the first place, our spiritual life, then there's a beautiful line in that verse before the gospel which our music director, cantor, organist sang for us. Shine like the lights in the world. Shine like the lights in the midst of the darkness of the world if you are placing serving God first serving the kingdom of God first of all. That hierarchy of values is a light which shines because it's the light of Christ which is shining. The banner on the front lawn of the cathedral with the message, respect all life as a gift from God, is one example of the light of the kingdom of God shining in this world and in Dilworth neighborhood. The pro-life banners in front of Holy Trinity Catholic Middle School and Charlotte Catholic High School with that message of pro-life are another example of the light of the kingdom of God breaking in to the darkness of this world, the light of moral conscience shining in this world. Uh, the public witness of the life chain two weeks ago on the streets of Charlotte and on cities throughout our diocese and throughout the United States. Another beautiful example witness of the light of the kingdom of God shining in the darkness of the world where the Catholic community as a whole comes together to be a moral conscience shining like a light in the darkness of this world. And the crosses on the front lawns of some of our parish churches around, commemorating the unborn victims of abortion. Another example, powerful example, and beautiful witness to the light of the kingdom of God shining in the world. And so also you, shine like lights in the midst of this world because Christ lives in you. And your attitude, your behavior, your lifestyle, your lives reveal the presence of Christ and therefore the light of the kingdom. That you're saying the kingdom of God is primary. The kingdom of God does have the primacy of place in my life. Just as Jesus says in today's gospel, give to God what belongs to God. So as children of God, inspired by Jesus' message today, let us give to God what belongs to God, our love, our gratitude, our very lives in service to him in order to make his kingdom more present and visible in our world.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God our Father rules with love and mercy over all creation. Now as his children, we come to present our prayers for the church and for the whole world. For an awareness that God is Lord of all and ruler of all the world, past, present, and to come, may we learn to trust in his purpose, confessing that apart from him there is no meaning in life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, as St. Paul commended the Christian churches for their faith and action, may we too take seriously our faith and action in how we live, giving value to God's given gift of life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be people of truth and honesty in all that we do, and may not be ashamed to let gospel values influence our daily life in our communities and social concerns, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this month of the Holy Rosary, we may honor God in all what we say and do, being witnesses to the teachings we have received, praying the Rosary daily as a tool to uphold and grow stronger in our spiritual lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in body, soul, or mind, that they may find consolation and hope in the mercy of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that they will be granted eternal peace in the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the people of the Diocese of Charlotte, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Heavenly Father, grant us the abundance of your grace, that we have all that we need to remain faithful in following in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen.
I entreated your face with all my heart. I will lift up my hands to your commandments which are Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, our patron, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. They hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestowed on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Father in, in the, the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. God, you take 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. What is 
his land that you should keep him in mind. The son of man that you care for him. O Yeah. <laughs> 
You forgot one communion. He already left. Okay. He already left. No, he already left. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. This morning as you arrived, you heard, this afternoon as you arrived, you heard the bagpipes play, and I just want to assure you it's not St. Patrick's Day yet, although the ancient order of Hibernians are selling raffle tickets for a trip to uh, Ireland. The only caveat is when you win your ticket, you have to give it to the pastor of the parish because it's just unseemly that the pastor of St. Patrick's has yet to be to Ireland. Um, <laughs> That's not true, but it's worthwhile begging. I don't mind. The Respect Life Ministry is holding their annual baby bottle fundraiser. Please pick up an empty baby bottle on your way out of church, fill it with your loose change or a big fat check, and bring it back to the parish office or give it to the ushers. The Old Souls Remembrance envelopes are available at the side entrances and in the narthex, as well as in your pews. Please fill those out and bring them back before November 1st, if possible and we will keep the names of those that you include on those envelopes here at the altar throughout the month of November. And the cathedral will host an All Saints Day party on Sunday, November 1st, from 4 to 7 p.m. outside in the parking lot of the school. Activities include line dancing, games for kids, a cakewalk, and much more. And even though this is substituting as our parish picnic, there will not, unfortunately for all of you, be a dunk tank for the pastor. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God...